have a, a lot of white people here today. White people have generally avoided our show so far. I, I have a question, actually. I, I have a question for white people in the audience. Uh, it's a general question that's been on my mind for a while for white people. Um, what the hell is your problem? <laughs> Australia, I've only heard white people complain about other people's cultures, right? So, you know, Muslims beat their wives, or, you know, Africans are in violent gangs, or, you know, Aborigines have a drinking problem. That's my favorite, that's my favorite number one complaint from white people. Aborigines have a drinking problem. You guys are from Sydney. You saw the Cronulla riots. <laughs> I'm sure we can all comfortably agree that no one in this country has a scarier drinking problem than white people. <laughs> that's why there's no alcohol allowed in the room, no? Not for religious reasons. Uh, we just don't trust white people in the alcohol anymore. You, you guys saw the Cronulla riots on TV, man. When white people when white people have a party, one minute it's a party, and the next minute uh, it's the Nazi party. Uh, I'm just saying, I'm just saying if, if you and your friends have a barbecue, and within half an hour that manages to mutate into uh, a 5,000 strong Hitler youth rally, maybe there's something wrong with your culture. Just putting it out there. <laughs> I, I didn't know what was happening, man. When I first saw the Cronulla riots on TV, I didn't know what was going on. I just thought it was the, the, the season finale of Home and Away. <laughs> <laughs> playing the same footage again and again, Channel 7, Channel 9, Channel 10, same footage. And I need to know how this happened, so in the end I had to go, I had to go to my parents' house to watch BBC. Because BBC was the only news service that actually explained how the Cronulla rise took place, right? And they were crossing live to their foreign correspondent, and uh, she was very nervous. She was doing that BBC journalist walk, but she explained exactly how the Cronulla riots happened, right? She was like, yes, thanks, Natasha. Well, it's been chaos and pandemonium today here in Cronulla, where it appears that after Ten years of white nationalist fear propaganda from the Howard government. White people have finally lost their minds. <laughs> so simple. Did you guys hear? Uh, you, you, oh, oh, yeah, you guys are from Sydney, so always you, like, you knew after the Cronulla riots, you, you heard about these uh, revenge attacks. Yeah, angry, angry young Muslim men went out and targeted random white people for revenge. It was very scary, and. Uh, I have to admit, I, I was involved a, a little bit. Um, well, I, I was in Melbourne, so I had to do it via email. <laughs> I did, man. I sent these psycho revenge emails to random white people. I was like, hey, what'd you do that for? <laughs> and then I attached to those emails pictures of burning cars and broken windows. <laughs> revenge of the nerd, really. <laughs> I, I have to say something at this point in the show because, you know, people come to the show and uh, at the end people are like, you know, you were talking about white people and you were making generalizations about white people and you were singling out white people and inevitably someone will say something like, you know, I think you're kind of racist towards white people and, and that hurts me, man. That really, that really shocks and offends me when pe people suggest that I could be racist towards white people. It's not possible. I can't be racist towards white people because... <laughs> Some of my best friends are white. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I take them to parties sometimes to show them off to my other friends. <laughs> and this is Dave, my white friend. Um, of course I have white friends, man. Everyone has white friends. You, you don't have white friends? Oh, you, you should definitely get one. <laughs> it's cool, man. He has a dog and a bicycle. I know. Just like the ones on television. <laughs> Not much of a dancer, though. <laughs> I know their babies are cute, too. I'm going to adopt one to feel better about myself. <laughs> Take it out with me when I go shopping and stuff. I, I don't really want a kid, man. I just want to look fashionable. So if I had a white baby, I, I'd just keep it in the fridge and take it out when I need it. <laughs> oh, oh, man. A couple of babies in the fridge? I know, I'm kidding. You've got to put them in the freezer. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, they get soggy and they lose their shape. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I like white people. I do. I really do. I like white people. Look at you. You're beautiful. You're um, you're glowing. Uh, I like white people. I do. I really do. I like white people. Uh, I look, man. I speak your language. Uh, I eat your traditional cultural foods. Wheat beaks, whatever you call it. That's great. I, I, I have to put chili sauce in the milk, but it's wonderful. But, and, and you know, that's 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 white people's contribution to civilization. I guess. Uh, 
breakfast cereal, and you know, you know, there's no shame in that. <laughs> what, what did Muslims invent? Just boring stuff like, you know, mathematics, <laughs> science, <laughs> numbers. <laughs> but hey, you know, it's, it's not a competition or anything. Else. <laughs>